What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bring you guys part 14 for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way all the way up to Snow Point City and captured the fifth Pokemon for our squad, which is Snow Run right over here. Look at them, not just any Snow Run, it is a female Snow Run. So we can actually evolve this thing into Frostlass, who I want on my team. But in today's video, we're gonna be tackling on the seventh gym, which is the Ice Gym and defeating that. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. It really does go a long way. So I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But what our objective here is for this gym is to defeat all the trainers, obviously, and uh, destroy all the snowballs in order to make our way towards uh, the gym leader. But this gym right here is kind of a little bit of a struggle because the puzzle is a little weird. You do not know how to do it. Personally, I know how to do it just a little bit, but we'll see how we do throughout this whole thing. But something else I really want to do in... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Why does this dude have a floatzel? Why does this dude have a floatzel? We're going to fight it, but this is an ice gym. That's why I brought my Houndoom, but he's rocking with a floatzel. But back to what I was saying. What Another thing that I want to do in today's video is actually evolve our snow runt to Frostlands, which all we need is a Dawnstone, and I know exactly where to get a nice little Dawnstone. So hopefully this dude doesn't use a water move. He's a dark move. That's lovely. That's lovely. We easy eat that, and we should be able to take this thing out with a bite. But yeah, we're going to evolve our snow runt into Frostlands, which is going to be amazing, and we're going to start giving it some moves, because this thing can actually learn a great pool of moves. Obviously, it's Ghost and Ice type, so we're going to want a move like Shadow Ball on it, then an Ice move, obviously, and then we want a move... Like Thunderbolt. I think Thunderbolt could work perfectly on Frostlight. Special attacking. It's a special attacking move. It pairs super, super well. And I feel like it's probably like our best bet to have. And why did I just use Bite? I'm stupid. I just used Bite, but it's all good. It's all good with Thriving. But yo, Frostlight, our team is coming together so well. We still have one more spot on the uh, on the team. And hopefully we'll get that Pokemon in today's video. It'll be really, really cool. Let's just get a rock with Aerial Ace. We'll say, Ayo, get on out my face. Get on out my face. But yo, I've been having a blast doing this playthrough. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying actually all the Pokemon content that has been going out across the channel. We've been doing guides, playthrough, and my favorite so far has been the competitive VGC Double Battles. If you guys haven't checked out those videos, definitely go check them out. They're tons of fun to record and I have a blast playing them and building teams for you guys. So if you guys haven't checked out those videos, I think you guys should. I think you guys should, but first trainer in the dumps. Get him out my face. And what we want to do here is actually start like sliding down these uh, paths right here. Defeating all the trainers just to get them out of our way and destroying all those dang snowballs. The snowballs are an absolute pain. And there's like one that's a little bit of a challenge, but I think I remember how to do it. I think I remember how to do it. He's going to throw out Snowbird. That's exactly the type of Pokemon we want to be versing. Exactly the type of Pokemon that we want to be versing in this gym. But I think after this gym, we have to go versus Team Galactic. I think that's right. Or did I already do the warehouse already? I don't think I did the warehouse already. I'm trying to like remember. I don't think we did. So I think we might get started with that warehouse today just so we can like get a head start on the next episode. Because next episode, I want to be able to beat the eighth gym. I want to be able to beat the eighth gym because our Torterra can just run that thing with ground moves. If you have a ground Pokemon, you're going to be going easy on that gym. Because it's legit all that your Pokemon. So you just send out your ground Pokemon, ground, ground, ground. So if you have Garchomp, Torterra, Hippowdon, something that learns a ground move, you're going to be thriving pretty well here. But the difference with this gym is that, uh, what's it called? If you have a fire Pokemon, you're not going to run it because obviously Pokemon like Floats are here. There's a lot of uh, other Pokemon that are present that can actually counter you. This guy also has one Pokemon. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. And look, like this is what I'm talking about. It's a Quagsire. What do you want me to do up against a Quagsire? It has ground and water, both super effective to my Houndoom. Like you're supposed to be an Ice Gym. Now I need to swap you out and bring out my main man Torterra here. Main man Torterra. Where you at? Tor Come on, Torterra. Level 45. I feel like this Houndoom does not look well. I feel like I use them so much and I just don't level them up, which is a pain in the neck, but yo, it's all good. It is all good. It is all good. He goes for an ice beam. Oh, and that's going to be four times. Wait, what is this game? Wait, what is this game? He uses an ice beam on a Houndoom. So when I swap it to my Torterra, he hits me with a four times super effective move. Get out my face. But hey, yo, Mega Train's coming out here. That's four times super effective. We take him out. We say, hey. Give me my HP back. That HP that you stole, give it back. <laughs> we fill right back up. We we're just chilling. We we're just chilling. But Quagsire is such a cool Pokemon. I feel like it's very viable and like competitive play too. It's got that ground and uh and water type in. And grass isn't that big in the format. But more importantly, it has a, a move like we're not a move, an ability like water absorb. Which you can actually just soak up some shots with that. You can not like soak up some shots, you can counter water Pokemon with that. Super, super easy. What we want to do here, can I break these from there? Yes, I can. You break that doing that and i want to come back up here i want to go all the way down and i just want to start breaking all these snowballs as much as i possibly can should be a path like over here yeah i can come up here i can just start you know doing work 
start doing work but what i want to do here is actually go to the beginning area and just no not that way <laughs> and i just want to slide down and break these snowballs like this yeah baby yeah there we go look at that go all the way this way and i can actually battle this trainer because we can break some snowballs by going this way by going this way howdy ace trainer alicia what's goody girl gonna send out steezel and this this is why i bring how this is where how do thrives just teeing off on these little poor sneezels these sneezels stand no chance come here sneezy come here baby girl I hit you with a flamethrower she does have two pokemon this thing does outspeed me she's gonna hit me with an icy one you know i love be some weebile yo i've been like you you start to appreciate different pokemon more when you're playing in a competitive scene because each pokemon like does something that they thrive with and weebile is like amazing it's so good at speed controlling it hits like an absolute truck the only problem with it is it's a glass cannon it hits like a truck cannot really take hits that's why you give it the focus sash so it can hang on that's why its items should be the focus sash when you're playing them with competitive it's just so good but tentacle is going to come out here and i'm just going to rock with tokus because we do have shockwave and this is why i want to give like thunderbolt onto the frost last i know it learns it and it's just great coverage move for a frost last. it's really really good and especially for this team because that's something that we lack is electric type but everything else this team is like a perfect build we cover so much we cover so much let's go with a lovely little shockwave here get after it yeah Built. and that's gonna be a nice little super effective but not the ko not the ko we're looking for and this thing's rocking with ice beam he rocking with ice beam focus is a tank yo things a tank focus waiting on your directions it's all good shockwave flying through here again yeah hey beta skater get him on out of here get him on out my game beautiful 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 or to level 46 that's great no again like why is my Houndoom only level 43? Like, we are front-running him, like, in these past two videos. He's just not growing levels. Everybody else is just still surpassing him like crazy. But defeat that trainer. Let's slide down here. And, hmm, should we go this way? Is there a snowball down here? I thought there was. Let's go this way, then. Go this way, and this way, and then this way, and slide here. No, we want to actually, no, I should have stayed back up there. Should have stayed back up there. Let's go back. I'm coming back. How the heck do we get up there? Okay, this way. This way, this way, this way. Slide. Slide. Slide, I believe, right? Yeah, then up the stairs. We gotta make our way back towards that uh that lucky lady. I go, hey, what what was that? What kind of movement was that? Actually, I could destroy a snowball on the side, which I really want to do. Actually, no, I did it wrong. Did I do it wrong? I mean I have to verse this trainer anyway, so might as well go up here and destroy this guy. Come here, boy. Let me tell you something. Okay, I don't need to destroy him. Actually, I do. Come here. Let me talk to you. So last trainer that we have to verse, then it's just puzzle solving from here. And the puzzle, it's like I said, it's kind of annoying. It's not like too much, but it's just like, yo, if you miss a step, you're sliding all the way to the other side and you gotta walk all the way back. And you're just like, come on. <laughs> come on. The server's gonna come out here. Luckily, it's only one Pokemon. Should be able to thrive up here easily. And then I should heal up my Pokemon right after this, just so I don't forget to heal up my Pokemon. But, you know, nothing's worse than hopping into a battle and having your Pokemon not healed up. Then you just get ripped. You're just like, come on, man. Are you sure it's going to fly? It's easy eats for Houndoom. Look at that. Nine damage. Nine damage. Now you got to eat this flamethrower. Now you got to eat this one up. Get him gone. Get him gone, dude. Like, I love Obama Snow, but fire is so, like, prevalent in, like, every single team. That's just, like, you use Obama Snow, you're going to die in one shot to fire. And every team has fire. It's not like a typing, like, bug. It's not four times super effective up against, like, bug, where it's just, like, not a lot of people use the bug moves, you know? But, like, fire's on, like, every team. It's on every team. But I should be able to. I'm trying to figure out how I can do this. Oh, I should go here. Go here and then slide down. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. I want to go back this way. And up this way. And then come here. Here. Down. And I want to go right here. So what right here does is leads me back here. I got to get all the way over here. And I got to, I think, go down here and break this thing. Yep. There's a breakage there. And we should get... And we gotta go to this. I'm trying to think. We gotta get to that platform. I see the platform that we gotta get to. And I think we can break something from over here. Nope, not like that. I think we gotta go this way. There we go. Right here, 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 and this path should break this one. Yep. Jeans is on a heater. He's on a heater, baby. Now we go this way. I think we can thrive out this way. And we gotta make our way towards. I see that one. Okay, give me a sec. All the way back up here. Go here. No, wrong way. See, that's what I'm talking about. You slide all the way across. 
I want to go all the way over here. What all the way over here will lead me to do is right here and then slide down, break this one. And now we have two left. Two lovely little ones left. All right. Uh, so in order to get them, see that platform does that one. Actually, no, it doesn't. We gotta get, yeah, we got to get to this platform. How do we get to that platform right there? From up here. Okay. Jeans got it. Jeans got it right here. Come on to this one. Uh, slide through here. And now we just need to be able to get to this platform so I can slide down and hit that. And in order to get to this platform, we just go here. And there we go. Beautiful. Done. All done. Awesome. Now we just got to make our way back up to the top and slide through to the beginning. Is my Pokemon fully healed up? Let me make sure. See, yo, I told you I was going to forget. I told you I was going to forget. You're lucky, lucky I checked. Lucky I checked. I was just saying, yo, like after this battle, we should heal up our Pokemon. Let's heal here. I only think we need it on uh, this Pokemon right here. Should be thriving. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Make our way back to the beginning. All the way around this way. And now we can face off with the seventh gym leader and get our nice, lovely little icicle badge. See, puzzle's not that hard once you start like looking at the spots where you need to go. Because you can only break snowballs really from those uh, snow spots where you can stand. So if you just look at the uh, snow spots, you're just like, hey, I got to make my way there. Then you start to figure it out. Like, Just start playing it out in your head. It's really not that hard. But there's a glitch you can do where you just like walk up to the stairs. And you can glitch through it and just verse the trainer by skipping everything. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of glitches in this game. But, you know, we don't do glitches over here. We do not do glitches over on this playthrough. This is just a stone cold playthrough. We rocking out with it. Snover's gonna pop out here. That's fine by me. It's fine by me, Snoves. And we're just gonna rock out with a flamethrower. Bye bye, Snoves. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. I know he has a float soul. I think he has an Obama cell on his team too. And maybe a Weavile, right? Maybe a Weavile. But it, when float soul comes out here, that's when we just rock out with Togus. Actually, not Togus. Torterra can come out here. Pretty much clean that one up. He's gonna go out into who's your next mod? Who you got next? I do love the atmosphere around here. Gonna be a Sneasel. We're gonna stay here. But yo, look at like the, the battle arena. First of all, you got the glaciers, which is just phenomenal. But for some reason, they have like a DJ lighting set around everything too, which is pretty cool. You know, getting a fist bump on. You're rocking out. Like, yeah, party! <laughs> but it's just it just doesn't fit. I don't know why there's glaciers and then DJ party lights. Making no sense to me, but hey, yo, it looks pretty tough. It looks pretty tough. Tokus takes the lead for levels. Goes on level 47 for the squad. And... Gym leader Candice is about to send out Metacham. Ooh, Metacham. Why you got a Metacham? Like, this is an ice gym, bro. It's an ice gym. We, like, was there already a fighting gym? Yeah, gym three was fighting. But luckily, we have Togekiss nowadays. Back then, we did not have Togekiss. Now we got Flying Pokemon. Now I can just rip into this thing with an Air Slash. Or even a What's It Called? Or even a Dazzling Gleam. I'm just going to rip this thing with a Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, hey. Hey, the skater. Later skater, Dazzling Gleam, ripping through. Ripping through, Metacham, gone. Metacham, out my face. Snow Run should... Oh, that, why you only get 593, Snow Run? Yeah, like, no XP there. thought you were going to get more. But I thought he was going to level up. Obama Snow is the final Pokemon. And, yo, how think it's going to come out here and just be able to one-tap it. We should outspeed it. We're four times super effective. It's Stab. Come on. And we're shiny. And we're shiny, yo. I love this shiny, yo. Love this little shiny Pokemon. Just so good all around. Just so good all around. She's going to break the ice and bring out her last resort Pokemon, which is a Bombus. Such a cool Pokemon, like I said. Just super, super weak The fire. And fire is just such a big, big threat. How do you use Flamethrower? Abomas, though, I apologize. I apologize, dude. Get on out my game. I don't think I've ever seen a Bombus, though, without a Focus Ash surviving fire. Same thing with, uh, actually, Ferrothorn. Yeah, I did see because Ferrothorn's a bit more bulkier, but, like, like, a Bombus, though, does not survive any type of fire shot. So, everyone wants to learn Ice Fang. Did we give it to it? I mean, maybe. This thing is special attacking. I do like Frost Breath, so. I should like these moves on him. You know what? No. You ain't, you ain't getting this. Your special attack is way higher than your uh, regular attack. So, Snow Run, you're just a special attacker. No Ice Fang. Frost Breath's your move. So, the moves that I really want to give uh, Frost Last is going to be Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, and then something else. And then something else, which could be pretty cool. But, there we go. Look at our dirty badges. I do not know how to clean them unless you bring the Switch out. And I just play on controller. I usually leave my switch inside the console. So these things are just dirty badges. Collecting dust. But we're able to use rock climb now, which is awesome. And what the M does she give us? Avalanche, baby? I think it's Avalanche. I think it is Avalanche. TM72, it is Avalanche. That is lovely. That's just dandy. Dope, dope, dope. So now that we finish up this gym, I believe it is time to go face off with Team Galactic. And it's actually great because we got to head over there to get some stuff and things anyway. But let's see the map first. Let's see what the map says. 
And it just says, go check uh, the situation. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. That's what we got to do. We got to go over to Lake Viridity. Viridity? However you pronounce it. And, uh, you know, hit up on some uh, Team Galactic runs. But, yeah, I believe we go to the warehouse. I think the warehouse is a thing. But let's go. Yeah, look at look how look how nice that was. No Pokemon, no random Pokemon. Here's my boy. What I say? There's nothing here. Go on, check the other lake. No, I'm, I'm going over here. Can we not? What's going on here? Didn't it just say go check the lake? Is this? Oh, that's oh no. Okay, never mind. We have to go. There's Valor. We have to go. Oh, okay, this one. This one. Let's fly. <laughs> I ran all the way over there. I was just like, okay, we got to go to this lake. Nah, we got to go to this one. We got to go to this one. I understand now. I understand. Yo, look at Tokus. Looks so sick flying around. Look at that. It's like a little paper airplane, looks like. Oh, my egg is hatching. Sick. Oh, yeah, that's so sick. I totally forgot about this Rilo egg. And guess what, guys? Rilo's going to be our sixth Pokemon on the squad. Our team is fully complete, basically. We just need to evolve Pokemon. Imagine if that thing was shiny, that would have been sick. But yo, finishing up the team, we got Lucario, we got Torterra, Floatzel, Togekiss, Frostlass, and Houndoom. Told you guys, the team's an absolute banger. Want to give Rylou a nickname? No. I just want to level up Rylou, but yo, let's check out this Pokemon, dude. Welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad. Let's check the summary here. Let's check the squad. Modest nature? Oh, could be better. Could, oh, could be so much better, but... Come on, yo. Why you gotta be modest nature? I might have to give this thing like a mint, but you don't get mints till late game. That is so whack. Give this thing a modest nature. Oh my god. But hey, he's on our team. He's gonna be part of our playthrough. I'm not hatching another one. Professor Roman's here. Blah, blah, blah. Team Galactic's here. Being annoying. Let's see what this one's gonna say. We gotta battle all these chumps. Oh, it's a double battle. It's a lovely little double battle. Lovely little double battle. So, we're gonna, I think we have two double battles. We're just gonna charge up on these fools. Rip them up, and then I want to go get my evolution stone. Oh, you have six Pokemon? Me? Let me out and Silcoon. Oh, why are you rocking with Silcoons and Glamouts? Let's do something cooler. I could just start EQing, but it's just like, eh. It's like, I really don't want to kill my Houndoom. That's why we should maybe just swap into Togi. Just start EQing. Could be the play, but for right now, it'd be pretty easy just to go into like a move like Rage Leaf here. But. Like I said, we're going to go grab our Evolution Stone. A pain... The Rylou is going to actually be a pain because it levels up with Friendship. So we're going to have to try to get a Sooth Bell. I might do that off screen. I know exactly where to get it. But Rylou's going to get some levels here. Level 11, baby. And a boy Rylou. What do you want to learn? Faint? I can't believe it's modest, man. Metal Claw, nice. Because he learns basically physical attacking moves. This thing is not special attack. He's not made for special attack and he's all about that physical. But hey, you know, I think he still hits, hits like a truck. I think he'll still be fine here. Let's learn counter. Uh, no, because we will never use it. That man's gonna come out here. And if he sends out, like, another Pokemon that I can't one-tap, I'm just gonna swap and start dropping EQs. And no, uh, we should be fine here. I'm just going into, like, a... Actually, yo, let's just drop EQs. Let's just swap you into Togekiss. Oh, I'm in moves. I was wondering why I couldn't click. But there we go. Swap Pokemon. And now Torterra can just start EQing freely and just one-tap the Pokemon left and right. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Such a competitive doubles play, Jeans. Look at this competitive doubles play. This is like something you would do with competitive. It's like when you're playing it and you have EQ on your team, you usually swap out somebody that can dodge it or just protect your Pokemon and just start sending EQ. Because EQ is one of the strongest moves in the game. For a physical attack. And then when you have it stab and a big Pokemon like Torterra, it just does a ridiculous amount of damage. It really does. But look at that. Just running things. Riley going up another four levels. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And now he's going to throw out Stunky and who else? And who else is coming out here? Gold bat. Okay. So now here's our problem. We can EQ. But I think we just EQ and Razor Leaf. Is EQ Razor Leaf going to be our play? Yeah, it's EQ and Razor Leaf. Actually, mm. I mean, what the fuck we want a Shockwave here? Might take two turns for this KO here. And we'll go for an EQ just in case. Uh, I mean, I think Gold bat might be able to eat this up. We'll see. Hopefully not. Okay, that was cool. But we're hoping this Stunky can't eat this up. It's going to be not very effective. We're hoping to just be able to take it out with an EQ. That's my player. Rylou and help a couple more levels. Guy level. He wants to learn Work Up. And you know what? I'll give it Work Up. Nice little setup move for this thing. We'll get rid of Indoor. You know, screw Indoor. And it does have Inner Focus, which is such a good ability. Can't be flinched. Can't be intimidated. Awesome all around.
awesome all around. But EQ's gonna pop out here. Doesn't affect Togi. And come on, take out the Stunky. Come on, take him out. Thank you. Thank you. It was not very effective, but... Oh, no, it was? I must have read that wrong. I must have read that wrong. See, I, I thought it was super effective. Because I, I know my typings. But then I was reading the thing, and I thought it said not very effective. I might be stupid. Might be stupid. But it happens sometimes. I probably just saw the grass one, and I just assumed that the other one was too. But, you know what? Let's just... uh. Let's just swap. Actually, no. We're going to roll out with the squad. We're going to roll out with these guys. Hopefully, these guys don't have six Pokemon again. Like, six? Why are you guys rocking threes and threes? I get the first group, but not the second group. You guys should have, like, two. Let's see. There you go. Hey, now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Stunky and Beautyfly. Stunky and Beautyfly. So, Flamethrower and I think we just... Uh... Actually, we could do it the other way. Go Flamethrower could take out the Stunky. Or I could just bop up on my Houndoom. I could do that, and then I could do like this, but you know, it's not very effective all around. So, you know what? Screw it. Then a flamethrower, over on the beauty fly, and why Why do you have to say like Torterra's waiting on my directions every single time? I'm just gonna go try to take out the stuff. I think it's rocking Sucker Punch, dude. Stunky's rocking Sucker Punch. Flamethrower's gonna take out beauty fly, and hopefully this Razor Leaf can do him dirty. Let's see. Beauty fly, get on out my game. I mean, it is the first evolution. We are a good amount of levels ahead of this thing. And Riley with some more, dude. Riley's just gaining them levels all day. Razor Leaf's gonna pop. Come on, you'll take it out. No! What you mean? <laughs> we got a crit, too. Bring it down the red, and Glammy out is going to pop. Glammy out is going to pop. And you know, Flamethrowers will definitely take that thing out. I'm just gonna go for a Mega Gen because you know what's called Ken Miss. Razor Leaf can't miss, and we're not risking it. This thing's ripping on us with sucker punches. God dang Stunky. Throwing some sucker punches. Flamethrower comes out here. Later, Glam Meow. I don't think he just rolls through people. He's got a perfect nature. He is modest nature. See, like, that's a Pokemon that we'd like to have modest nature. Lucario, not so much. Not so much. And it sucks because, like, this is the only spot you get a Lucario at. Unless you breed. But then you can't get a Ditto. You can't get a Ditto until post-game. So it's just like, you can't breed a Lucario. And then the only way to get Nature Mints is post-game. So it's just like, dude. Like, I'm stuck with this Lucario, but hey, we're gonna, we're gonna make the most of it. This team's looking sick. Team is looking sick. Torterra and Houndoom do get the levels up. And Glammy out is going to fly out here for its final mod. And you know, I'm just gonna... Actually, I'll rip on this thing with a bite. You know, I don't think bite's gonna kill. I just don't want to waste all my flamethrowers in case we have another big battle. Bite's coming out here. And you know, bite just does the work. Bite just gets the job done. All day, baby. All day. More levels for Rylu. He's already level 20. He's already looking all good. He wants to learn Rock Smash. And you know what? You can learn Rock Smash. It's a good little fighting move. Get your first fighting move on here. We got rid of Faint. So now we have two stab moves, which is wonderful. Fight against Steel. Such a cool typing. Such a cool typing. Gotta love it. Got to love it, baby. There you go. Team Galactic runs. Get on out my face. And we might have to verse one more Galactic person. Maybe. Not sure, though. Because I think they might just go to the warehouse. But here's Dawn and Galactic. Is her name Mars or something like that? She got a weird name to her, but she's talking to me. Yeah, it's Mars. Hi, Mars. How you doing? How you doing, sweetheart? And she wants to battle me. Come on. Come on. You know you're going to lose. This chick knows she's going to lose, but she does have a jam. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Bro, I love Pokemon battle music. It's so hype. Hands down, the best one is Gen 3. When you're versing the Dragon Elite 4 trainer, oh my god, there's like trumpets, everything is blaring, yo, it is an absolute bop. Like, I remember just like, versing Elite 4 and just like, like, oh, yeah, yo, just jamming. Like, not even wanting to kill the last Pokemon because I'm just jamming. Like, putting my, my, uh, my, what is it, my Game Boy SP down and just going like this, like, oh, yeah, yo, just jamming. <laughs> oh my lord, yo, Pokemon jams, they hit different. They hit different. And actually, I really do like uh, one of the lake musics here. It's just very soothing and very, very nice. One of the lake musics when you're in post game, you can just like sit there and jam to it. But Perkley's gonna come out here, and you know what? I might just throw out a. Uh, gonna throw out Torterra here. EQs can do some big old damage. Love the little EQs. And I didn't know this, but Perkley actually learns Defiant Ability, which is really good for competitive. And like, I'm just thinking competitive. I'm, I'm getting. Doing double battle, so 
I don't always be thinking competitive. People don't realize how much thought process it actually takes to play through competitive. Like you have to be thinking. It's like chess. It's like chess. You have to be at one move ahead of your opponent. Always. EQ's gonna pop. This thing is gonna be able to soak it up. And it has a berry alongside with it. You son of a biscuit. What is that? The guav? Citrus? I think it's a guav. Citrus. Citrus berry. And uh I do trust this Mega Drain to actually KO that thing, so we'll see how this one goes. Aerial Ace is gonna do some big damage. Luckily, we're bulky up against physical attacking moves. And Mega Drain's flying out here. Son of a biscuit! We don't take it out! What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> Hill they won't take that thing out, but you know, another Mega Drain will get us done. Aerial Ace gonna fly again. This thing's not doing too much damage. It's super effective. Or oh, Terror, use Mega Drain. Later. Later, big fat cat. Later, big fat cat. But yeah, hands down, the worst uh, worst exclusives are Glamio and Stump Tank. Come on, like you guys could do so much better. So much better. They're just lame, yo. Like nobody wants them on their team. I mean, maybe some people want uh, want Stunky on their, or Stunk Tank on their team. Because, I, I mean, that's decently cool. You know, it's not too bad. But like, Pergoly? Like, just say that name. Pergoly. Bruh, I don't want that on my team. I don't even want that in my Pokedex. I don't even want that in my Pokedex, bro. But I do love me a little a good old bronzer right here. He's funny, man. Look at him. <laughs> Just a little steel chip. Look at him with little eyes. <laughs> he cracks me up, man. He always looks so happy at all times, too. I do miss my boy Klefki. I absolutely love me some Klefki. Dude, that's what I should get. How sick would my car keys be if it was a Klefki car key? Bro. Bro, that'd be tough. That'd be tough, right? I'm gonna look online and see if they have that. And if I record, I'm just gonna be like, yo. Search up Klefki car keys. That'd be so sick. But these guys say they are at the HQ. Which is totally fine. You can get on out of here and go to the HQ. I think if the screen just turns black and everybody just disappears, right? Yeah, see? <laughs> I love how they do that for these old, older games. It's not like these people walk out. It's like, yeah, we're just gonna turn the screen black and we're just gonna get out of here. But we can head to the HQ now and start tackling on the HQ. Oh no, they actually went up here. We go up there first. Could go up there first. Let's do it. Let's go up there first. Let's go up there first. I'm on my way. Star Raptor, you fly. <laughs> just comes in there, swoops us up, drops us off. I like how it drops us off. It just like drops us mid flight. It just keeps going. Like doesn't even stop. Doesn't even stop. We're gonna heal up these Pokemon. Just get our flamethrower back. And we are gonna go move to this lake. All right, Pokemon all healed up. Let's get a move on. Let's go, Jeans. But I think it's funny, like, you can move with the D-pad and it walks. It's like old time gaming. And then when you hold down B, you run. That's how it was in the old game. You move like this. Like, see how I can't move in, like, eight directions? I can only move in four. But yeah, I'm I have to hold down B to run. Whereas if I use this stick... Oh, I found a Pokemon. I can move in eight directions. But it's going to be Sneasel. Sneasel, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to run from you. We are now up at this, lake. this lovely little lake. But I didn't realize how much more stuff we had to do besides just gym and go to the HQ. Because I didn't, I, I, for, I totally forgot that we had to go to the, uh, to the lakes and actually burst these people. I thought it was gym straight to the HQ. That's what I thought it was. But let's head into this lake over here. And what we gotta do? Barry's here. Hi, hi, Barry. How you doing? And he's talking to Jupiter. I like how they're all named after like planets. I think it's pretty funny. Is there Team Galactic? How did Jupiter? Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eternity City. Blah, 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 blah. Yo, go to the HQ so I can go defeat up on you later. And she says, she says, yeah, I'm going to HQ. Hey, Barry, how you doing? Yo, dude, the water looks sick. Like, yo, just look at the water. Does that look good? Come on, yo. You can't tell me that water don't look good. But they make me come all the way over here just to kind of chill here. And do I have to go into this cave here? Let me see. Let's go to the HQ. Yeah, let's go to the HQ. That's totally fine. Let's go to town map. And something I want to do before we go to the HQ is actually go to Orberg City over here. The reason I want to go to Orberg City is you guys are going to see in just a second. We're getting a cool little item here that I would love to have. That I would love to have. And the best part is we have to go to Vilestone. Yo, look at Tokus, bro. Tokus is just ripping, yo. Looking like a little paper airplane. And we go up here. And we want to make our way all the way over to Mount Cornet. Because if you come over here. Actually, should I use a repel? Nah, I think we're fine. Oh, yeah. We should have used the repel. We should have sent the repel. Now we're going up against level 10 Zubats over here. I'm gonna guess level 16. Isn't this like a level 16 route? 
Maybe. Actually, probably lower. Let's see. Let's see how this thing's feeling. Level 16? 14. Okay, we're pretty close. I'll take that. Two level range? That's a good guess. That's a good guess. But like I said, we got to go all the way over here. And we got to go up these steps right here. And you cannot obtain this item until you have surf. Because, you know, you have to surf across this water. And what we're going to get is something great. It's something just dandy. Something just wonderful right here. Which is going to be the lovely Dawnstone to evolve our snow run. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Let's go into our bag. Let's evolve this bad boy. Let's evolve this bad boy. Because, you know, we would never use snow run by itself. We would never use snow run by itself. We know that for a fact. But it has to be a female snow run to evolve it. Give it to Dawnstone. This thing's shivering. Why does it look shiny? It looks super bright, doesn't it? I don't look super bright. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I have my contrast down on my, my uh, monitor. Like, whenever I record, I put my brightness and my contrast down on my monitors. Just so it's not, like, reflecting in my face. But, yo, we get our frogs. This thing's so sick. It's so sick. I love this Pokemon. This Pokemon's so sick. I want to learn Hail, but I'm sorry. We're going to keep all moves. We're about to give you a bunch of moves. He wants to learn Hex. I will give you Hex. Hex is a cool move. It's a nice little special attacking uh, move right here. So, we're going to rip up with you with that. And you can have it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Dope, dope, dope. And I don't think I checked this thing's nature. Did I check this Pokemon's nature? Because this is a Pokemon that I would love to have modest. Let's check it out. Check Summer here. And it is quiet. Okay, so it just has... Oh, special attack speed down. I don't mind it. I, I did actually check that. That's not bad. But let's go into a bag here. And let's uh, just use a Escape Room. We'll use our last Escape Room. It ain't no big deal. It ain't no big deal. Because the next cave we're going to be going into is probably Victory Road. And we're not going to want to use Escape Room on that. But from here, we can finally head to the HQ. And the best part about going to the HQ is it is in the exact city where we can get TMs. So I can get two TMs for my boy Frostlass. For my boy Frostlass. I do want a Shadow Ball, but there's only two places. Maybe I'll get it off screen. The Shadow Ball is my ideal move for this thing. But Shadow Ball, you can only get in that fog area when we were going towards Celestic Town. And you can only get in a post game, which would be by battle points at the Battle Tower. But we got to make our way towards this floor or is it the next one? Nah, I don't want the counter app. No, you can, you can keep the counter app. We gotta go to the next floor. Onward Jeans. And if you guys need a dust stone, this is exactly where you get it to. Not in this building, in the HQ. In the HQ of, uh, of what's it called? The like Team Galactic place. But we buy Ice Beam here, and I don't think you get Shadow Ball here, right? Solar Beam, Psychic Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball. We do have Shadow Claw, but it's just like, dude, I do not want Shadow Claw. I'd rather use Hex. I'd rather use Hex, but we're going to give this thing Ice Beam. Obviously, Blizzard is a great move, but Ice Beam hits way more often. Let's scroll down here. Get our lovely little Ice Beam. Give this two lovely little Frost Last. Frost Last is going to be able to rip with it, which I love. Yes, the CM's going to break. It's all good. And we're going to get rid of Icy Wind. Actually, I should have got rid of uh, Frost Breath. Should have got rid of Frost Breath, but it's all good. Get rid of Icy Wind, and now we can go to... Where's my Thunderbolt at? I know we have a Thunderbolt right here. Thunderbolt, you can learn it. Yo, such a good move. Such a good coverage move for Frostlass. Such a good coverage move for him, and I'm going to get rid of Bite. Do not need your Bite. Do not need your Bite. And something I should do is swap Frostlass to the front of my party, because I do want to use them for these next couple minutes of recording. And I want to swap Rylu to our walking Pokemon. Because, you know, we got to level up his uh, friendship. I guess we can only do that outside. All right, give me a second. I do that. Frostlass in the top. We can start using this lovely little Pokemon. Yo, I love me some Frostlass. But, yo, this is a team. I've been telling you guys. This team's a banger. You guys cannot deny it, yo. Just, you know, like, the typing, the, the way that we cover so much, and how cool this team actually looks is just absolutely amazing. But we're going to go over here. Tokus, I absolutely love you. You're my favorite Pokemon to have uh, walking around me. But Riley needs the friendship level, so we're going to have him run. And he runs like a Naruto character. Look at him. He looks so sick. Oh, yo, I love Riley running with me. He's so sick. Look at him, yo. He's just booking it. He's just booking it. But I'm going to go over here. This is where Team Galactic HQ is. You can walk straight up here and actually get a stone. Oh, no, we don't have the key. Son of a biscuit. We went the wrong way. We went the wrong way. And like I said, I want to start this just a little bit. Do a couple battles. Just get a head start on this. I want to be able to do the 8th gym in the next episode. It would be really, really good for us. So we're going to head all the way over here. This is actually the starting point for this HQ. Go this way. And go over here. Go inside this lovely little building. Howdy, Team Galactic. What you got to say for me? Bum, bum, bum. She kind of just talks to us. And do we talk to you? Where's that key at? Where's the key at? I know someone we have to talk to. It gives us the key. 
Might be in this next building. Let's see this building. Where's this dang key at? I know it's somewhere here. I know someone has this key. Oh, then I think we can go in here. Yeah. I oh, know we can't. Where's this key at? Why can't I find this key? Oh, dude, maybe you have it. Yeah, we had to talk to this guy. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Doesn't he just give us the key or something? Yeah, like, look at him. <laughs> he just straight up drops the key. And, oh, no, I didn't mean to talk to you, Malu. It's okay. And we got the storage key. Yay, storage key. Yeah. But, yeah, this team is fire, but it's just a pain in the neck to level up to, to uh, friendship Pokemon. Like, we already leveled up Toga a Tick and the Toga Kiss, and you guys saw how much of a pain that was. Now we got to do Rylu into Lucario. Hopefully, that won't be that much of a pain, but, yeah, we got a key now. Let me just open it. Right in it, right in his face, dude. Right in this dude's face. Doesn't even say anything. And right here is where you get the dust stone. The dust stone takes a little bit, so if you want Pokemon like Honchkrow, I think Miss Magius evolves into that. It's pretty cool. But we gotta battle up on all these trainers. Nope, oh, nope, no one here. Let's keep getting removal on over here. Like I said, we're not gonna be finishing this warehouse here, but we're gonna be doing a good bit of it. We're gonna be doing a good bit of it, just setting us up into a position where in the next video we can finish this off and head straight to that eighth gym, defeat that as well. This should be awesome. This should be awesome. Well, we got Frost Slash rocking out in front. And, you know, this is perfect. Yeah, we got Ice Beam for him. We finally have a full-blown Golbat counter and Flying Counter. This encounter is Flying Pokemon like No Tomorrow. Like No Tomorrow. Ice and Ice and Thunderbolt for counters. It's lovely. It's lovely. So it's going up against Water Pokemon. Can just do work? But Golbat, get out my face. Frost Slash is ripping. It was such a sick design too. I really love this design. Looks like it has like a little like like a. Not like a dress, but it's like a ghosty drape on. And it just looks so sick. It just looks so sick. Like, I like Glalie, but Frost Slash is 100 times better. 100 times better on, on design looks. It just looks so cool and tough all around. But, uh, we go up this way. There's a Pokeball. This might be a rare candy. Nope. Bottle of Zinc. Bottle of Zinc. I love when I'm replaying games and I just know what the items are. Like, oh, this is this. This is that. It's just pretty cool. But let's battle this Team Galactic guy right here. What's up? Our first intruder into HQ. In the HQ. I like how they just had like this HQ sitting here this whole time. In the middle of a town. Where like people live. <laughs> it's just nuts. Duck Sock's gonna pop out here. Ice Beam is just gonna fly here again, dude. We can just rip with this. And I love its little ice horns. It's so sick. Oh, Ice Beam isn't super effective. I wonder why. Is this thing bugging flying? I would think it would be super effective. It's a little weird, but Tox is gonna come out here. Really? Really? Oh, this thing might be poison. Really? This thing this thing toxic me? Get on out my face. Get on out my face. We're gonna rock up on this thing with a... Do I go with a Hex? No, Ice Beam. Ice Beam's are probably... Because Hex might not take out. Ice Beam's gonna fly. Yo, send it. And you gone. Get on out my game. That stock is cool. I do like that stocks. Definitely a cool bug. One of the cooler bugs. Frost Slash gets to level 41. And Fultz will go to level 46. Love you, Fultz. And he wants to learn Aqua Tail. You know what? Yes. Yes, you deserve to learn Aqua Tail. We have Aqua Tail, which is 90. It does a bit more damage than Waterfall. If we need some big damage, we're going to use it. Oh, uh, what do I get rid of? Let's get rid of Bite. I don't think we need Bite. Because, like, obviously we have Houndoom from Dark. I think just having Swift, that's a nice little normal coverage move. That can't miss is also really good. Plus, Fossil is just strictly water. So I do dig that. I do dig that. If she wants to learn Crunch, I mean, I will give her Crunch. Bronzer's going to come out here, and this is where we switch to Houndoom. Houndoom's really the bronzer killer. <laughs> he just rips on this thing. Especially because he has he's, he's more on the special attacking side. Especially with this build. He's just able to melt through him. Bronzer's gonna poke. And I think we're gonna do like one or two more trainers here. Before we finish off the video. He has all super effective moves. Dark and fire. Just rips through these guys. Rips through them. Even though Bronzor and Bronzong is one of the tankiest Pokemon in the game. Like so big. So bulky. I feel like the only thing that kills that thing is like an overheat or like a fire move in a drought. Riley's gonna grow his levels and he wants more Nasty Plot. We're gonna give him Nasty Plot. We're gonna give him Nasty Plot just for the sheer fact is like, what we could make him a special attacker. We give him like Flash Cannon, like we could. We could make this thing a special attacker. He does learn some good special attacking moves, so maybe we'll do that. But we'll see. I'll give it Nasty Plot and then we'll decide later. And then we will decide later. But let's head up to the next floor here. Keep making our way through the HQ. And do you want to battle me? No, he does not. He said he doesn't even have a Pokemon. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. He's like, dude, I don't even have a Pokemon. I don't know what I'm doing here. But we can make our way here and pretty much face off with the last trainer that I want to do for today's video. Frost Lass, let's get after it, baby. Let's get after it, Frosty. Frost Lass. 
I love you, Frost Lass. Bum, 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 bum. Glad Man's gonna send out. And dude, like, I don't understand this. Like, we are past the seventh gym. Like, we were well into this game. We are well enough in this game. Fully e evolution Pokemon here. And these dudes are still sending out Glammeows and Stunkies and, like, Cascoons. Like, come on, y'all. Pick up the pace here. Pick up the pace. Like, we're one tapping them left and right. Get on out, my face, Team Galactic. But, yo, we are actually going to be finishing off the video right here. Nobody gets to level up. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be finishing off this Team Galactic headquarters and probably beating the eighth and final gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.